Okay, fellas. How we sleep last night? Not good. Yeah. Oh, I had the best <laughs> night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't actually because of you. I just yeah. went to bed at like six o'clock and oh. ten o'clock I was ready to start the day. Oh, I went to sleep about nine, and just before I dozed off, I heard heaps of laughter coming from the beach. Yes. And I was like, very... yep, I'm <laughs> glad I made the decision to upgrade. So, <coughs> so it's raining a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. So, about 13 mm. kilometers today. Think we can handle that? Yeah, we'll easy. All right. Alrighty. We'll be all right. Ready to head off? Let's do it. Let's go. Cool. Long uphill, but not too steep. Getting a little bit of everything today. Beach walk, boardwalk. See what happens next. Way off in the distance. That's that beach we came across. It's so cool to be able to see where you've come from. And you see it's starting to rain. But it actually feels good because it's so humid and warm in here. How are you? Getting a little wet. Yeah. <laughs> Even with the uh, mist and fog, it's still pretty. We're about one a little over a little less than one and a half kilometers from the hut. Taylor's taking off. Derek's behind. We're just all now. Just trying to get through it. <laughs> We're soaked to the bone. Uh, none of us put raincoats on because it's pretty warm. It's like still like 16, 17 degrees. So <laughs> what an interesting day. And this is light rain compared to what we're supposed to have tomorrow. Uh, and that's our longest day tomorrow. So that should be interesting. But you gotta gotta have something to tell stories about and we're certainly getting it Awaroa hut hey how you doing Good. right now it is 441 we got here just a little afternoon so it's been a nice restful afternoon it really as you saw it was raining really hard but it's not so much now. We're gonna walk across that tomorrow. Of course, we'll, we'll wait till low tide. <laughs> but uh, this is a nice little area. Um, it's not quite as nice a hut as the other huts we've been in, but it's still still a good, good hut. Toilets up there, outdoor sinks, which is interesting. There's no indoor sinks at this hut. Interesting. You come around the back of the hut, Nice little quiet picnic area and a bridge that's over a stream, which is really kind of nice and peaceful and relaxing. And that goes out to the bay. And down here we have the supplies, but the big fire firewood box at the very end. So I just loaded up a wheelbarrow full of wood, brought it inside. But that's the hut. Not the biggest that we've been in, uh, but still nice. And I'm telling you, the three huts we've been in so far, they've all had Wi-Fi. 
which is bizarre. Yes, they're up here too. Cheeky little fellas. You trying to intimidate me? Really? Really? You trying to intimidate me? Look at how close I am to this guy. They have no fear. So a little thought about what's happening from here. Uh, we walked almost all day in rain today, which wasn't too bad. Uh, we got completely soaked, but uh, yeah, we know that story. But looking at the weather forecast for the next two days, there's actually a heavy rain warning in effect for the next two days. And so you know, part of hiking like this is knowing when to call it. And we're just not heavy rain and heavy winds, what they're calling for. And we're like, yeah, we've had a lot of fun on this. And the last two days, we'd just be trying to do it to get through it. So in, in effect, what we're doing is we're cutting it short. So we're just going to walk north here about a little over two hours tomorrow um, and catch the aqua taxi a day early. So I've got all that set up and then head back and spend an extra night in the motel. But um, typically I don't like calling it early just because things are uncomfortable, as you know. But freedom on the trail means freedom to make good decisions as well. And, you know, we, the three of us sat down and talked about it. We all realized that if we continue on, it's just not going to be fun. Um, and it could be actually, it could make us sick. And Taylor and I are doing the Heafy track next week. So we wanted to make certain that... Um, that we made right decisions so that's the plan and uh, we're fine with it and we're looking forward to getting absolutely drenched tomorrow it's a possibility uh, the rain's supposed to come in later in the afternoon but uh, we expect a little bit in the morning as well